Socorro. Hi my friends from another game. Welcome to my reality. Today we will have a slightly different video. Yesterday a new character called Killjoy arrived in Valorant. As builders are my jam, let's give her a chance. And since I'm here, see some bugs. Are you ready? Let's go. She has 4 abilities. Damage Grenade. Alert Robot. Torb Turret. And a mix of Bongo and Shield Gen that stun enemies. You can pass through all her skills. Except the turret. Since you cannot occupy the same place, you can try to climb on it, exactly as you would try to climb on an ally. Unfortunately it makes you slide, unless, if you put it in a corner. Because of that, you get stuck in the air between the wall and the turret, and can jump a second time. By doing so, you reach some places that you couldn't do before, thus creating a turret climb. Here are some locations that I found that you can climb and surprise your enemies. This also works, if you don't use it in a corner, but you will need help from an ally, it has the same effect, but I wasn't lucky to find any good examples, anyway. When we add the sage wall, things get more interesting, you are not able to put any other skills on top of the wall besides the turret, however, when you destroy the wall, it remains in the air. <laughs> Working as intended. Therefore, you can reach even more crazy places if you redo the previous steps and stay hidden in spots that your enemies would never check. Basically you can hide in any corner of the map with Sage's help. I also noticed that, if you aim your ultimate on the ground, it always spawn in front of you, but if you place the crosses forward, it will go to a location above or below you, more or less your height and distance. Therefore, if you find a gap on the map, you can put your ultimate in there. But since Valorant weapons go through walls, it does not prevent it from being destroyed, but it still offers a little bit more protection. Also, other things I wanted to mention, that might be useful to someone. It's probably intentional, but the grenade's damage does not stack. And if the first one ends, the second one does no damage unless you leave, and enter its range again. Meaning that, 
there is no point in placing several grenades in the same place. Also, in the custom game, with infinite abilities enabled, if you die after placing one turret and get resurrected, you can place a second one. You cannot do the same in other game modes, but it's fun nonetheless. That's it for today, thanks for watching.